Welcome back to Squawk with me, Bruce Whitfield. In tonight's Contrary Review, we look back at what David Shapiro suggested as an alternative investment for the year because it was bearing fruit. Just to remind you, this is what he said a couple of weeks ago. If you can get a picture of Mandela, no offense to the old man, if you can find a kitschy picture of him, then you've got to go and buy it. Go search around all the antique shops or anything like that because if Sh Susan Shabunga is going to pay 3.7 <laughs> million, which is more than an Irma Stern, just buy as many as oh, you come can. On. You, and you must put them on auction. Senior Shapiro, <laughs> they call him. As it would turn out, barely a month later, limited edition lithograph of Nelson Mandela as a young man by Marlene Dumas has been auctioned off for 48,000 Rand in Cape Town. We don't know what it was bought for originally, but 48,000. So, David Shapiro, your advice. It's stellar. It's Take sterling. it. Take it. Buy you, it. You stick with it. You know what? He's an icon. He's a man that will continue to attract. You know, in America, they go for baseball stars and football stars. You know, you can buy baseballs that, I don't know, were used in some World Babe Series. Ruth, Babe, Babe Ruth. Ruth. I mean, they pay crazy amounts. In the South African context, I think it's going to be Mandela. And, you know, as a collector, he's not a young man. No, he's not a young man. And, yeah, the, the stuff is worth collecting, David Shapiro. We'll, we'll go with that. Let's take a contrarian view on next week's budget, shall we? Because, of course, uh, budget 2013, every year the budget gets harder. The pool of cash upon which the finance minister can draw gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And the need gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Give me a view of just how scared wealthy people watching this program tonight should be, Sasha. Bruce, I, I think in a South African social context, and I've said this before, and I had to think long and hard about this, you should be privileged in a South African context to be able to contribute to the fiscus, because that means you're not amongst the 25% plus uh, formerly unemployed people. Mm. So I just think, it, you know, that's my kind of social context to that background. <laughs> Show, showing that he's a capitalist <laughs> with a conscience, of course. Capitalist <laughs> with a, yes. <laughs> but I, I sense that that is the, the precursor to a very big but. Yes, but I think in terms of uh, getting democracy to work properly, um, and I say this again in South Africa where the tax base is pretty small, it has to hurt more people in their back pocket so that um, ultimately that leads to some sort of legitimacy of government that everyone can view it that way because nothing quite changes uh, your view on life if you're getting hurt in your back pocket. Absolutely. Or if you're hungry. I'll Those I'll are the two opposite sides of the same coin. I'll put Ele it less eloquently. Okay. Is if, if they raise taxes, they're going to turn that little pot into basically crooks. People will pay up to a certain level after that now. But there, 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 I think there's, that, there's probably a scientific calculation They will resist and somewhere. they will make yeah. all kinds of ways not to pay tax. What does that's, mean? Yeah. You know, you can't, people will pay Number one, believing they're going to get something in return. If they get something in return, they'll pay happily. If they're not getting something in return and you start to tax them more, believe me, they will find ways to siphon that off and hide it and not give it to the tax. SARS man. has been very successful in the last decade of getting rid of tax structures and yep. getting rid of the incentive to have a tax structure. Mm -hmm. However, if you put the marginal rate up too significantly, or certainly too quickly, you will find there will be a brand new industry, job creation, that's good, mm -hmm. um, of tax structuring yes. experts who will help otherwise honest people dodge their taxes legally. Absolutely right. And mm. that's, the, that's the danger. So you have to look at other ways to increase it. Number one, my big thing is efficiencies. You know, and I've said mm. this before, with so many government departments not getting, uh, getting unqualified, sorry, qualified audit reports, uh, there's got to be huge amounts of money that can be saved by simply keeping proper books and records. Well, hopefully Prime Gordon is watching, but we'll know on Wednesday next week as to just how hard you are going to be hit on everything from the petrol <laughs> prices to toll roads to the marginal tax rate. But I don't think there's going to be any significant change, of course, not until next year, because we've still got a tax commission, as was announced in the State of the Nation address. The last big tax commission was the Cats Commission 15 years ago, in which there was an overhaul of the South African tax system. I suspect we headed that way once again.